Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and this is the second video I'm doing for Brit uh, that shows her how to <clears throat> import a DXF from Carlson with some line work, surveyed line work, and then just attribute those lines. So we've got the lines in QGIS. I did that in the, in the first video. And now I just want to show her how uh, we're going to attribute some of these lines. So I'm going to go ahead and make the layer editable. And then you can see when we zoom in here, uh, one of the things that we can attribute is uh, what type of line it is. So is it aliquot, section, or quarter? Okay, and so um, you can you can figure that out using the quad map just from... So these red lines right here are the section lines. So if we've got a segment that's on a red line, that means it's a section line. If it runs through the middle of the section, it's a quarter. If it's any other kind of line, it's an aliquot line. So let's just start working our way down here. So this line right here is on a section line because it's it's pretty close to where that red line is. And this difference here, that's just the difference between our surveyed position and the position of the line on the quad map. So you can see they got it pretty close. So what I'm going to do is click on the identify tool here and pull that up. And then you get that little form there. And then right here under survey type, we can say... Um, Oh, it's not editable. Hmm. There we go. Let's try that again. So make sure your layer is editable. So under PLSS type now, that is section. So we can say section line. Okay. The RH survey status is going to be surveyed. We'll put the survey length in there uh, later. We'll put in the record length too. Um, and the... And, uh, we probably won't put the GIS length in for these that are surveyed already. Britt's going to add the RH line ID. And we'll just say OK. Now this line right here, it's a little hard to tell, but it runs through the middle of section 8. So this segment right here is actually a quarter section line. And that is surveyed. Okay. Now these two lines aren't on a red line or the middle. Uh, I'm sorry, this is this is the middle. Yep, so this is the middle also. So this is going to be a quarter section line. So you got to look at this close, right? Don't be like me, goof it up. And that is surveyed. Okay, this is an aliquot line because it's not on a red line and it's not on the middle of the section, that cross kind of cross shape that goes in the middle, crosshair shape. It's, it's aliquot. So we can put aliquot line. And that is also surveyed. Okay, so we'll slowly uh, work our way through and attribute those. Now, when you get a few done, it's always good to save your edits. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and save the project. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and let Britt finish these up. So we can, we'll can we finish putting in the type of aliquot line it is. And then we'll set these all to, to the status to surveyed. Um, and then we, we can go in with a little expression and we can actually fill out the surveyed length because these are this is surveyed geometry. So we can pull the surveyed length right off of that, uh, right off of this data. Uh, so actually, you know what? I got time. Let's see if we can just go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to try and remember how to do that. Let's pull up our properties. And we'll go to fields. Let's see, surveyed length is, so we want to change this type here. And I don't think it's going to let me do that. I might have to delete it. Let's delete it and add it. Okay, and I want it to be not an integer, but a decimal. And we're going to say to 12, and we're going to just do two, two digits past the decimal. So we'll say OK and apply. All right, and then when we come in here, so we've got that surveyed length now. And we can should be able to go to the expression. Uh, let's see, I don't think it's field calculator I want. It might be, though. Yep, so we're going to update an existing field, and we're going to pick the surveyed length. And then down here in the expression builder, we are going to say geometry, um, I think it's dot length. And I want the 2D length, not the 3D length. Uh, 
So for some reason it doesn't like that. Oh, I'm trying to remember how to do this now. Let's try this. So we expanded geometry here. We're going to go get length. Oh, dollar length. So you can just make it dollar length. Then we'll say OK. And you can see it, it automatically added the length there, which is cool. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now that's not dynamic. You got to recalculate that each time. And uh, there you go. Now we got our links. So if you wanted to see those, you could just come into your properties. And you could go to labels, and we could say single label, and we could label the length. And I always like to put a little buffer on mine. Makes the text jump out a little bit. And so you can see now the links are, are labeled. Those are the actual surveyed lengths of the lines. Okay, so we got this cleaned up. I'll let Britt go in and, and finish this attribution, but now you can see how once you've imported geometry from a DXF, you can make the layer editable and hit your identify tool, and then you can go and you can start to attribute that data.